Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're taking you on a journey through time as we explore the vanished streets of old Paris in the 1900s. And trust me, you won't believe your eyes when you see the stunning photos captured by the legendary Eugene Ackett. But before we dive into the mesmerizing world of Ackett's photography, let's talk about the backdrop of these incredible images. In the late 1800s, Paris was undergoing a massive transformation. The city's medieval neighborhoods were being torn down to make way for wide avenues and public parks, thanks to the modernization campaign known as Haussmannization. Amidst this rapid change, Atkip picked up his camera and embarked on a mission to document the city's architecture and street scenes before they disappeared forever. Armed with a large format view camera, he meticulously captured every detail of the city, often shooting at dawn to capture the perfect light and ambience. Atkit's photographs are not just ordinary snapshots. They are windows into a bygone era, transporting us back to the streets of Vieux Paris, the capital in its pre-revolutionary, 18th century form. His keen eye for detail and his deep connection to the city's history made him a specialist in capturing the essence of old Paris. Now, let's talk about Atkit's unique process. After taking a photograph, he would develop, wash, and fix his negative. He had a meticulous filing system, assigning each negative a consecutive number and carefully labeling them. His prints were contact printed onto various types of photographic papers, creating stunningly detailed images. During World War I, Atkit temporarily stored his archives in his basement for safekeeping, but he almost gave up photography entirely. It was a difficult time for him, as he lost his son in the war. However, he eventually regained his passion and continued to photograph the parks of Versailles, St. Cloud, and Sows, as well as a series of photographs of prostitutes. Atkit's work didn't receive widespread recognition until after his death. It was the American photographer Berenice Abbott who discovered his photographs and became his posthumous champion. She introduced his work to other artists and tirelessly promoted his legacy through exhibitions and books. Today, Atkit's photographs are considered iconic and highly influential. His images of deserted streets, stairways, and shop windows captivated the surrealists in the 1920s and inspired generations of American photographers, including the likes of Walker Evans and Lee Friedlander. In 1968, the Museum of Modern Art acquired Atkit's entire studio contents from Berenice Abbott, including over 5,000 vintage prints and more than 1,000 glass plate negatives. This collection represents the largest and most significant compilation of Atkit's work, preserving his legacy for future generations to appreciate.